Radio. Back with another supermarket haul of it today. I'm filming this Monday, so it'll be going up tomorrow, Tuesday. I'm by Stop and Shop, picked up some more stuff. I was going to get some turkey for lunch, and uh, Stop and Shop turkey is so much more expensive than Shop Rights. I'm comparing like if it's a half pound, a pound or whatever. It's like over ten bucks. It's top and shop. I'm like, no, I can't do it. I will show the stuff I got though. First thing here is some uh, stop and shop brand dry roasted peanuts made with sea salt. is how this works. I'm saying, oh, I'm going to do these videos this week. I do some of them. Some get pushed for whatever reason. I will be doing it hopefully this week. No, I should be doing this week. I want to say I've done a peanut, peanut, peanut eating video before. sounds with this because then it will explode when I open it later. I end up picking up some more tuna. I'll make this for tomorrow's lunch. That's chunk light tuna. Why do you have to put, like, I would assume that is a tuna on the thing. Like, hey, look, he's like, hey, eat me. Ha ha. I didn't know Starkist needed a, a mascot that you can eat. What does he have a name? Oh, his name's Charlie. Look at that. He's got a name on his hat. But yes, I got that for a... I'm gonna do an eating video with this, and then I grabbed the peanuts, and then I decided to keep these because I'm a freaking pig. Um, Hershey's cookies and cream. I think there's two dollars or something on sale. Maybe a little more. This is one of the ones where you know you treat me, a treat to share. Yeah, bullshit. It's mine to eat. I will be putting. 
this is the fridge. Look at this. It's a screen snack. I don't know what that means. Oh, look, it even has treat for me. Okay. I can gift it. It's good for on the go, like if you're just in the car. And it's good chilled, which I will be doing. I will put this in the fridge. It's getting, it's starting to get hot. And if I put this in the cabinet downstairs, it's going to just come out and be like, Here's the thing, I'm not gonna just like eat half of this and like wrap it up and put it back. I'm gonna eat the whole thing because like I said, I can't control myself. And the last two, I'll pull them out one at a time. I've talked about, uh, this is Gatorade Zero, how these things have not been on sale. They're actually on sale today. Three for four. I just grabbed two of the sale. You can't do more than three, I guess, unless you do six. I just wanted two. And I didn't have enough room in my bag after I got the soda. But I did get two, and like I said, I have said this previous. <clears throat> These things are not the Gatorades, at least on Long Island from the supermarkets. I've gone to on sale elsewhere, but they don't go on sale much anymore. These things used to be like 10 for 10 when they were in their other one. Man, I've said this in this past, man, maybe I'm wrong, but I could have sworn originally Gatorade, the bottles were like 32 ounces or 30, 28 now, and they're more expensive. Yeah, like I check out the new cool shape. Here's more money you're going to pay. But they were on sale, so they were a dollar like 33, dollar 34, whatever. Which is good because normally they're two nineteen. They used to be like a dollar eighty, you know, or whatever. And then everything went up. But I actually like the zeros. They are comparable in taste to the regular Gatorades, and I, I just like them. These I can shake up. This one is a uh, cool blue. And, uh, grape, gotta go grape. I love Gatorade grape regular. And this one is once again pretty comparable. Not as much so as the cool blue. Um, the other one I like is the, the Glacier Cherry. Is really good too. Zero. They have like four other different weird Gatorades now. One was called like Gatorade Light, L-Y-T. And uh, there was another one too. I was like, why are they making all these weird Gatorades? Did I not try one for a drink video? Did I do one for a drink review? Or did I just get one and drink it and it wasn't that great? I don't know. But yeah. I'll probably bring one of these to work, you know. I should have gotten three because I'm working tomorrow and probably Wednesday as well. And probably Friday, so. But I'll bring one of these in a day. And having the root beer keeps me from drinking these before tomorrow or Wednesday. Because like I said, I don't mind drinking the water, but eventually I get bored and I need something with some taste for like a day. And then I'll go back to water for a bit. Supermarket all. I'm happy you guys like these. Uh, they're easy enough to do, you know, and you get some different kind of sounds out of them and stuff like that. You know, so that's a nice little added bonus. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a meeting video of these soon after, so you'll see this shirt again. I had this shirt in the closet. My fiance bought me, like, I guess, a few of these kind of shirts. I guess, like, Hollister, the little bird or seagull, whatever the hell that is. It's like their symbol. I saw this one in the closet.
closet that had been worn. I was like, ah, you know what? I'm busting that one out. The problem with these shirts is I got to remember to not put them in the dryer because they will shrink. It's annoying. Guilt ends don't shrink at all. I, I guess this is the Hollister's own thing, so, you know, it's got to shrink. Some other shirts don't shrink, too, but there are other shirts that shrink like crazy. I guess it depends on the cotton percentage. Peanuts are always a decent snack that aren't terrible, terrible for you. Pretty good protein in here too. Nice. Yeah. Uh, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.